Hi, I'm Dr. Bertice Berry and I want to tell you a story. I was a girl in high school and yeah, I was still a girl. I wasn't 18 yet. And I sang with the choir, the chorale, I sang with a trio and I often had the opportunity to sing solos. So Mr. Leander Morris, our music teacher, loved great music. We didn't, we had a gospel choir. It was a student who led the gospel choir. Mr. Morris only allowed us to practice with the gospel choir if we didn't over sing, if we didn't shout, if we didn't um, abuse our voices. So he didn't want any loud screaming singing is what he called it, screaming. All that crazy screaming, he wore glasses and he would push them back like this. And he was from Virginia and he talked like this. And he said, listen, you're sounding crazy in here. You can't sing like that. Anyway. Mr. Morris was fantastic. And we sang all kinds of things. We sang spirituals. We sang songs from operas. We sang classical. We sang some of everything. But we sang choral music. And he didn't try to adapt the music of the day to the choir. He didn't do any of that. It was choral music. The spirituals were otherworldly. So, uh I can, you know, like I, I remember auditioning for the state choir and I got in and I sang Bally High and he practiced with me over and over and over again. It was Bally High may call you. Anyway, it was that. So, ooh, Cavalier Rusticana. Ooh, every year in the dawning of springtime. Anyway, so this opera singer came to our school. And we were all excited and everybody it was a big assembly. It was all class assembly. Everybody could go. And the music students were especially excited because we had listened to this, this particular performance that she was doing. We'd listened to it. We were excited about it. It was a white woman. I'm telling you that for a reason. And so she came and she sang and we were like, yeah. Every song was, yeah. So excited. So excited. So then she says, now I'm going to sing something from your type of music. And we're like, maybe she's doing a Negro spiritual. I don't know. And I look at my friend Tia, my childhood best buddy sister, Tia Thompson. I look at her and we're like, yeah, I don't know what she's doing. She starts out singing a Stevie Wonder song. And she's singing it like, it's an aria. You are the sunshine of my life. Yes. That's why I'll always stay around. When she got to the oh, 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 she went, woo, I looked at Tia. Tia looked at me. Game over. We fell out laughing. And... People were looking at us like, y'all know music, so can we laugh? And of course, they start laughing. You can't get the auditorium back together. We're like, <sighs> we're in the aisle laughing. Mr. Morris looks over at us, and he would call us by one name because we were always together. Tia Batiste, you're supposed to be leaders, and you're leading people the wrong way. And we were like trying our best to hold it together, and this woman kept singing, Ooh, you are the apple of my eye. And we were like, we could not keep it together. Everybody, every teacher was standing at the end of the aisles clapping, like, boys and girls, boys and girls. And we were like, ah, it just made it funnier. Here's the thing. I'm embarrassed about my behavior. And I was embarrassed then because Mr. Morris really read us the riot act. But I'm hearing from people who don't have um, friendships with people of color. They don't know any black and brown folks. They've spent their whole life without really a closeness to other people. And so they're asking questions like, what do I do? How do I get to meet them? What do I say? What do you, how do I behave? Be who you are. It's not like we don't get bombarded with culture. We're shown the other side of society, the other parts of society, 
in everything, the music, the media, the books, so much so if you read a novel, you are only describing the race of a person, the author is describing the race of a person when they're a person of color. Otherwise, it's just your world. It's just his world and nobody else's. So we know how to behave around all people. Everybody should know how to behave around all people. Well, how do you? You be yourself. You be who you are. You share what you like. You sing like you sing. You act like you act. And when you do, we all get a flavor of some of everything in our life. I think what made us laugh so hard at this woman singing Stevie Wonder with this lyrical soprano voice as if she were singing an aria was that she prefaced it with she was singing our music. And all music is our music. That's what we were thinking. The opera's ours. And it's yours. It's everybody's music. Be your music. Be who you are. Present yourself as you are, as who you are. And the more authentic we are in all of the spaces we enter, the more we share and the more we all get to grow. I love you. You are the apple of my eye. Yes.